Hello everyone, it's Zero Raptor coming back at you. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, but there's a reason for that because I have been trying to get my hands on the OG Transformers cartoon. Yep, this is the complete series, season one through f five? Yeah. Or four? There's four seasons? But there's supposed to be a fifth. I don't know, I read there was like a fifth season, but I think that's uh, in Japan or something. Anyways, this has been many, many years in the making because uh, I unfortunately was born too late to enjoy the original Transformers. So the Transformers I ended up growing up with was Beast Wars. I heart Dinobot. Yeah. Anyways, uh, when I found out that Beast Wars ties in with the original Transformers. Like, okay, I want to, I want to see the original Transformers. So I kept myself from watching like the later series, like Armada and Prime, because I was like, I want my first experience of Autobots and Decepticons to be the OG. And then Michael Bay came out, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll give that a try. And it's all right, but I was like, I really, I really want to see the original Transformers. But unfortunately it went off the air in my area or like I didn't have the channels to watch the original Transformers so I was like okay maybe I'll wait till it gets on VHS I didn't see any signs of it being on VHS and even then they probably would have had it in like bad quality and I didn't want that so I've waited and waited and waited and then Shout Factory came out with this really really nice package so now I'm getting ready to watch it. This will be my first time watching the OG Transformers. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait. Ah, I gotta love those 80s openings. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I can do that Many too. Paint splatters. Ago, on the planet Cybertron, life existed, but not life as we know it today. Intelligent robots that could think and feel inhabited the cities. They were called Autobots and Decepticons. But the brutal Decepticons were driven by a single goal, total domination. They set out to destroy the peace-loving Autobots. And a war between the forces of good and evil raged across Cybertron. Devastating all in its path, draining the planet's once rich sources of energy. The Autobots, on the verge of extinction, battled valiantly to survive. There's not enough energy in these conductors to last a cortex. Well, at least we found these, Wheeljack. And when these run out... They found lightsabers! Yay! <laughs> hey, let's get back to Iacon. And Bumblebee talks. <laughs> I bet Optimus Prime will be glad to see us. I don't get it. This is all metal. How does it catch on fire? Ah, home sweet home. Uh oh. A Decepticon welcoming committee. Autobots, stop them! Isn't that Starscream? It sounds a little different. Or is that someone else? Prime told me there'd be days like this. And you didn't believe him? I do now. We've got to get these energy conductors back to Iacon. I'm right behind you. Mind if I cut in? Oh, I gotta love those physics. Wow, really? They turn into like pyramids? I guess it's supposed to be really alien.
Ah, stock noises. Why did you do that to begin with? Yeah, I think it's my rear axle. Well, hang on to your crankshaft. I'm shifting into overdrive. They've got underground. We'll never catch them now. You better report back to Megatron. Wheeljack to Iacon. We're coming in. Uh, I remember that from War for Cybertron. How does no one notice that? Any luck, Jazz? Negative. No side of Cybertron's blacker than the inside of a drive shaft. Unless a new supply of energy is found, nobody is going to win this war. When do we start the search mission? Soon as you're ready to launch. Mm, some good worms. Wait, Soundwave just fly? He didn't have a. What is your command, Megatron? You are to stay behind. I entrust Cybertron to you, Shockwave. Fear not, Megatron. Cybertron shall remain as you leave it. Excellent. Now it's merely a matter of time until Optimus Prime admits defeat. The Autobots would have lost eons ago if I'd been calling the shots. Starscream, only a select few ever leave. My time will come, Megatron. Never, never prepare to blast off. <laughs> Systems go! Ignition. Is that the arc? Yeah, it's the arc. <laughs> Looks less golden than I saw in War for Cybertron. Wow, this feels like Beast Wars all over again. Yeah, you should get that looked at. I don't think that's how meteor showers work, but okay. Why are you falling? I fell off the chair. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Futrex report. We are being followed. Why is that steering wheel look that's out of place on the ship? How convenient. <laughs> They're coming aboard. Prepare for battle. Ah, of that that scene recycling there. <laughs>
<laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I guess Cybertron's closer than they thought. <laughs> the Transformers will return after these messages. We now return. Yay, no commercials. <laughs> Wait, four mil- four million? What? Wait, so this would- that would make this take place- Wait, wait. So the Ark was sitting in there and- well, I guess it was in Beast Wars, but- Wait, but Optimus and Megatron weren't- they didn't look like that in Beast Wars. Okay, it's... I'm already confused and this is the first episode. Megatron, my leader. We are alive again. Technically he shouldn't since Quickly, other Megatron... T-Rex Megatron took us. Megatron's spark. So... Wait, why does... Why is the Ark thingamabob working for the Decepticons? What was that supposed to do? <laughs> well, that's highly inconvenient. <laughs> Wait, so they crashed and they just we they just sat there in here. pieces for Those 4 million years? Hmm. Hey, technically they should all be like the prehistoric. They should all be beast bots. <laughs> this does not compute. <laughs> Why did it wait till now to like find forms for them? Destruction. Yeah, there goes Soundwave, no, just just flying off like that. This okay. new planet is rich with sources of energy, but the Decepticons must know this too. So we must find them and stop them. Hound, right here, Prime. Scout the area. See if you can locate the Decepticons. Just turn me loose, Prime. I'll sniff them out. I'm going to. I want to boot some Decepticon right in his turbocharger. Easy, Cliff Jumper. Just find them. We'll deal with them later. Good luck. Shame what happened to him and Bumblebee. Someday I'll be giving the orders, Rumble. You'll do what Not spoiler. <laughs> Let's scream. Megatron is strong. He's merciless. He can't be beaten. And you'll never be our leader. I will find a way. Everyone has a weakness. Yeah? Well, not Megatron. We shall see. Now, shake things up a little. I'm why is there an electric transformer around the middle of the desert? That makes no sense. It should be in the middle of a city somewhere. Can they smell? I mean, they have noses and stuff, but... 
Remember what Prime said. Just find them. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Let's find out. Thanks for the exposition. Now I know how Energon is made. Where did you get that gun from? Dead center and he misses. Wow. And everyone's got stormtrooper aim here. You don't give up, do you? The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Train. Can you transform? I... I don't think so. I'm sorry, Han. It's my fault. I shouldn't have fired on Megatron. <laughs> you shouldn't have missed, you mean? <laughs> That's because his name is Cliff Jumper, not Widowmaker. <laughs> I can't believe the Autobots survived. Neither can Megatron. They thought he'd blow a fuse when he found out. Hey, what's that? Let's find out. What? Okay, reflector. What? what? Wait. You, <laughs> you, just, you just put three Transformers into a camera? You could have just done that with one Minicon. <laughs> oh my god. They wasted three transformers to turn into a camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Wonder how the idea came up for that. Hey, let's have three transformers and turn them into something cool. What should we turn them into? A camera. <laughs> a camera. <laughs> oh jeez. What all he did is just push him down. That's a pretty mellow Decepticon. And that's all we heard, Prime. They're gonna put the energy in some kind of cube, then haul it back to Cybertron. Jazz, organize a battle unit. We're going after them. Wait, the Energon cube is only a Decepticon tech? That is too many to keep track of. 
it's supposed to be a kid's show. That's too many Like, so many characters, man. Give me a hand, Spike. We gotta raise this bit. Flush it out. Right, Dad. I'll get the bailer. Die! Die! Look! Up there! What is it? What are they? Everybody, come on! Yes. Throw all your tools at them. That's gonna work. <laughs> Technically, he should have broken his fist right there. Wow, just pop him out just like that, huh? Wait, how do they know what oil is? That doesn't make any sense. We did it! We did it, Megatron! The energy is ours! We can go back to Cybertron! That's some weird alchemy going on there. This is but a small fraction of the energy we need. We must suck this planet Earth dry! It's the Autobots! Whoa! What?! <laughs> He's like, gone. Why? Wait, wait, why? Why are the Donobots flying too? They're supposed to be cars! Oh my gosh, I... Oh... <laughs> this is only the first episode and already I'm... I'm being overwhelmed by all this randomness. <laughs> I thought the reason the Autobots were cars because, like, you know, they're ground vehicles and the Decepticons are, they're like planes because it's like strategic advantage over ground vehicles. <laughs> they fly. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help they fly. What? <laughs> Technically, they should be sinking, alright. I highly doubt they have that much buoyancy as robots, but I mean, that just. I'll go. I don't know, Optimus, you seem to lift it pretty okay there. <laughs> Transformers will return after these messages. Wow. In the okay. next episode of the Transformers, the evil Decepticons create a tremendous tidal wave. Optimus Prime battles his arch enemy Megatron high atop Sherman Dam. And Megatron discovers the ruby crystals of Burma, all in the next exciting episode of The Transformers. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say to that. That's I mean, it's cool that you can actually see them transform, whereas, you know, Bayformers is all, you're morphing. They're not transforming, they're morphing. I don't care what you say about Bayformers, they're friggin' morphing. They're Mighty Morphin Transformers. But here it's like they're actually transforming in front of your face. Oh, Marvel! Hey! What's up? Yeah, um... Uh, my eyesight's gotten... It's not bad, but it's, um... It's at a point where I can't be on my computer without, um... Uh, these computer glasses. So you'll see, like, when I'm watching these shows on my monitor, I have to wear the glasses. But other than that, I... 
my eyesight is fine. I have good 2020 vision. This is like when I, when I'm on a computer, my eyes strain. But anyways, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I know this this cartoon was made for little kids, so I didn't really have high expectations. But the Autobots fly. <laughs> I thought. I mean. I mean, I thought the part point of the Autobots being cars were that they can't fly because that's supposed to be their disadvantage, and they're supposed to be able to overcome that disadvantage. But if they just fly like the Decepticons, then. It doesn't even matter. It's like the w whether they choose vehicle or plane is like it's just for aesthetics. They're just gonna be able to fly anyways. Yeah. Oh man. I I know. I know when people said Megatron was a gun. I didn't think he would be like a gun. Gun. I mean. Wow. Really. I I don't know what to say. This is only the first episode, and I'm already like. Everything I thought I knew about Transformers just like just poof, out the window. So technically, like the show takes place at the same time as Beast Wars, but like with what happened in Beast Wars, this shouldn't even be possible because you know Mega Tron got his freaking spark taken, so unless he can function without his spark. But then that just opens up a whole slew of complications. I mean, I guess it's not too many characters to keep track of. I'm like, there's, there's what, like, 13 episodes in this season? The first season? So, I mean, given time, you'll be able to memorize it. I mean, if kids can memorize, what, it's up to, like, 800 Pokemon now, I, I guess, like, maybe 20 Autobots and Decepticons isn't that too far of a stretch. But it's like, that's a lot of characters to have to properly introduced to kids over the course of 13 episodes. I mean, they might go on into it with, like, the second season. That's supposed to be, like, what, 40 episodes? I'm not sure how I feel about... I mean, the story is pretty generic. I mean, you don't want to keep it simple for the kids, but... <laughs> Autobots fly. I'm... I don't know how to feel about that. I mean... Uh... I'm kind of nervous about watching the rest of the episodes now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, um, I'm thinking of doing reaction videos for the first season at least. Uh, if if you guys want to see more, I could just go on to do the second, maybe third and fourth. Uh, I definitely want to do the movie. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, so... Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I see you guys next time for the the next episode of Zero Raptor Reacts to Transformers. Later's.